So now I'm having to think, this is a new stage. It's all right. It's a challenge. I know. I know. It's a challenge. Yeah. Your beloved house in France. Oh, don't. It's, so gone. The, it's gone. I know, I know. And you, you'd been there forever. You and John bought it together. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you remember the first time you saw this house? Yes. It, okay. was, it was amazing. How, how did you come across this house and how did you well, buy it? Well, I went there. I was doing an art weekend, which I didn't participate in because on the first day we had to draw a staircase. And mine was so dreadful. I said, look, I can't do this. I'm just going to, I'll just stay here and watch you all. And this poor artist said, oh, no, please do try. I said, no. No, I, 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 I can't draw a staircase. I'm not going to be here. But so I stayed and had the food and everything. And during the course of it, I got very friendly with the people that owned the house. And not the mother ran the course. And uh, John, uh, Ellie Jane, was my eldest daughter, was doing a, a television on the other side of the Luberon Mountains. And she phoned and she said, you've got to get Dad over here. It is so wonderful. And I think John was doing the Sweeney at the time. And I phoned him and said, look, it is so beautiful here, darling. Come over for the weekend. And he came over and he said, I've got to have it. I've got, I've got to be here. So we looked at some houses and we asked this man to look around for some houses and he came up with about eight and we walked around. And there was this ruin with chickens running around and he said, this is it. I said, what do you mean, this is it? <laughs> but we, no, we, don't, we don't live in France, we don't know anything, it's full of chickens, it's, it's falling full down. People. And he said, I've got to have it. And now once John said that, you, you you had to do it. Yeah. You had to do it, and it was the best thing. That was thirty years ago. Right. So then, uh, obviously, you couldn't go to it in COVID, and then you did, and then you 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 saw literally saw the writing on the wall, didn't you? As far as the house yes, was I concerned. went back for a visit after COVID. I hadn't been out for over a year, and there's a bit bumpy old track to get down there in the car, and I found myself nervous of doing that. And then there's a bar, the shower. You have to climb in the bath, you know, and. I thought, this is kind of dangerous because it's miles from anywhere. If I fall, I'd already had a fall in London. And I thought, it's going to be... Of course, the firemen come if you have a fall. Um, if you want an ambulance, you call for a fire. Yeah. No, shop. no, but if you have, if you want an ambulance, it's usually a fire, fire, fire people that come right. in France, Got the it. paramedics. And they wouldn't have been able to get down the track. And, you know, just eventually I had to be real and I thought, I've got to get rid of it. And it has broken my heart. It, it, it was finally sold last week. And I really? am in mourning now. Aww. Yeah, I really am. I, because that was my European life. I am a European. Yeah. And I, I lived there as much as I did in England. So now I'm having to think, this is a new stage. It's all right. It's a challenge. I know. I know. It's a challenge. I've got to start. I'm, I'm visiting England more now. I'm going to museums and things.